All right, another slight change of plans for us on our journey back to North Carolina. We decided to, uh, we needed to upgrade our suspension here on our um, 2019 Tiffin 34PA. We're still thinking about liquid springs. We know we definitely need to get some Coney shocks. Well, all we hear is people rave about the Coney shocks. So we're here, it's kind of hard to see through the window, but I'll be going in this bay in just a minute to get uh, Coney shocks installed here at the new headquarters for Safety Plus in Tala. Pusa, I think is how you say that, Georgia. So they're no longer right outside of Atlanta. They're actually right on the Alabama Georgia line. So it's actually a lot easier to get to. Big open area for those coming to get Safety Plus installed or the Coney Shocks installed. Big open area looks fairly level. So if you want to boondock here, um, there's a lot more options to boondock here. And about three miles, I think, down the road is a pilot tow and a couple of other gas stations. So you've got, you can get fueled up and everything else. So I'm just waiting. It's, um, well, my point it's actually in five minutes right here 10 minutes early they're doing things a little different because of the of the big c they want you to stay in your coach or stay outside during the install so they in other words they don't they're trying to minimize contact that's really where it's at and uh this is being filmed um the very end of july of 2020 um so obviously at whenever you watch this if it's even a week later it'll be probably different you know circumstances you know you never know we're just sitting here waiting for those of you who are thinking if you have a class a or class c and i think even b's the safety plus steering stabilizer is awesome it saved us on a trip we have a video about it it's only a small part of the video it saved us from getting in a pretty bad accident already back in january on our way down to the temp rv show so we're just really impressed with safety plus the great thing about safety plus and coming here to the factory to get installed is not only you know you're getting it done right especially with this the, the um, steering control is they install it for free so anywhere else you go you got to buy the device and then you got to pay for the labor to get installed well here um, you're paying the same price to buy the device and the install's free and they take you out on a test drive. I think the whole process when we had Safety Plus installed about eight months ago probably took 30 minutes. Um, the actual install itself took took seven minutes. From the time I stepped outside of the coach, I had to drive it into the bay and up on ramps. And so from the time I put the emergency brake on and turned the engine off until he was saying, okay, let's go for a test drive, it was about seven minutes. It was really just that quick. And then the test drive took a little time because they, they you take you out for a drive and then the technician will get out every now and then, make some adjustments to it and just to get it tuned in just right. There's tons of videos out on it. Um, we didn't have a YouTube channel at the time that we got Safety Plus, so we didn't film it. But we have a YouTube channel now, obviously, and uh, we're getting Coney Shocks installed. Same deal, though. You, you pay... The, you pay, uh, they have a good price on their Coney shocks and they do the installation for free. And I just noticed here in the back um, behind me that the, I believe either that's the test drive, the coach just went for a test drive or that's um, somebody else waiting in line to get an install done. And the cool thing about this was we actually called yesterday afternoon about an hour or two before they closed and they had, they had a 10 o'clock opening and it worked out perfectly for us. We stayed at the Georgia Bama RV park the night before, about 30 minutes away. As soon as the technician comes over, We'll start filming again. All right, it's time for another campground review. This time we're not driving around because, well. No need. Yeah, there's really no need. <laughs> so um, we are at the Georgia Bama RV park in some unpronounceable name. Heflin, Heflin. Alabama. Oh, Heflin. The other, <laughs> it was the unpronounceable name in the last town over. Right off I-20. Here it is. It's all gravel, full hookups. Pull throughs on this side, back ends on this side, and a restaurant. We haven't tried the restaurant yet, but when we pulled in, he had he was picking green tomatoes to make some fried green tomatoes. So I'm really really stoked about that. Yep, and um, it's 40 bucks a night. If you're a Passport America member, you can uh, you get half off for up to two nights. Plus, I hear they give you a discount on your meals. And so over here at Damn Yankee, so we're gonna go over there and check that out. And um, they have a special um, German beer on tap tonight, so we're gonna be checking that out too. Hyperweizen, I think is what he said. <laughs> and um, it's cash only. So we'll talk more about the RV park in a minute, but let's go get some food. Okay, so two of us, not Talon, she already ate, ate dinner there. And what do you think? It was amazing. It was really good. Really good. It was fresh. I didn't get any of the fried green tomatoes because uh, we they sold out in an hour. So. And then I had like two orders. 
worth. The fried green tomatoes came from the little garden they got right here. <laughs> Quick update, uh, the campground price is $50 now, not 40. And so Passport America for up to two nights, 25 bucks. And you have to show your Passport America card. They will not just take the number. Yeah. Right, Talon? <coughs> right. But the food portions were huge. At Damn Yankees, which is the name of the place. This is our leftovers. I highly recommend the shrimp scampi. That's what Shelly had. I had the grilled chicken cordon bleu, and it was massive. I mean, it was just huge. It was huge. And for dessert, the peach bourbon glaze um, bread pudding with ice cream. I highly recommend this place if you're needing a place to stop. It's honestly, so far what we found, one of the very few decent campgrounds on the west side of Atlanta. It's a little, I think it's a little pricey for a parking lot type yeah. campground at $50, but it's exceptional for $25 for an overnight stop if you have Passport America. Yep. Yeah. And they do have Wi-Fi here, but we don't have the password yet, so um, we'll put it in the notes or somewhere on the screen if the Wi-Fi was any good. Uh, kind of a crappy Verizon signal though. Pretty low Verizon signal. We haven't checked the AT&T signal. We'll have all that information in here. But it's hard to make a long campground review of a park with uh, 12 spots and no amenities other than a really great restaurant. The, so. the restaurant's amazing. It is worth a stop for that. Even if you don't stay at the campground, come yeah. in here. So we're heading off to Safety Plus in the morning. Um, to get Coney Shocks installed. We are in historic downtown Anniston, Alabama. I don't know why I said Alabama, but I Alabama. said Alabama, because it's Alabama. Why are we in historic downtown Anniston, Alabama? What is historic about it? It's right there. Oh, you can't see it? Oh, try this. It is. The world's largest office chair. I like world's largest things. I don't know that I want to go over there. It's pretty tall. It would probably make me nervous to be by it. So I'll just stand over here and like pretend to have it on my hands or something. I don't know. Does that work? Lean on it. I'm leaning on the chair. Yeah. <laughs> but um, as I've said before, Gary should probably use me for like his prize wheel. And this is what you can win. It doesn't look comfortable. It doesn't look comfortable, but it is pretty big. I, that's pretty tall. Because the, the building's two stories, and it's taller than the two-story building. Yeah, a little perspective. There's the two-story building, which is Miller's office furniture. Honestly, this kind of weirdness is what we like finding on the road. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> So this is the customer lounge at Safety Plus. Pretty nice. Water and chips. Treats for the dog, water for the dog. Why am I whispering? I don't know, why not? Uh, also, free Wi-Fi. Dog in the back seat of that car there. <laughs> I 
All right, which way you want to go? We're going to take a right. Take a right? So, uh, how does that unit feel? How does, uh, how does, uh, does it feel like it's going one way or another? Um, not, not really. Cause you're the real star of the show, aren't you? Alright, we are done here getting the Coney shocks installed at Safety Plus. The whole process, test ride and everything took way under an hour. Um, so as usual, these guys are awesome and um, well, you can't really see it, but there's their new building. Um, lo much larger, for those of you who have been to the previous, uh, their original location, uh, right outside of Atlanta, this is a huge improvement. Uh, a lot safer too, it's actually a gated area so if you're boondocking here they'll give you the gate code so um you're safe behind the gate a lot less traffic around here too easy to get in and out and that's it so we are on the road so thanks for watching guys highly recommend safety plus we're gonna do a little follow-up right now all right we've had these coney shocks on now for about three weeks and we've driven from the safety plus factory to augusta georgia then from there to fayetteville north carolina and then from Fayetteville to Havelock Cherry Point, North Carolina, which is where I'm filming this right now. And so we've put a few hundred miles on it already and immediately we noticed the difference, positive difference. Uh, we were seriously considering getting the um, liquid springs um, add-on just for, I know for a fact that has that, that makes a big difference. I've test driven this exact same RV. The only difference was um, the RV had liquid springs, same model, year, same floor plan, everything, um, same shocks, you know, from the factory, everything. So I've test driven this exact same RV with and without liquid springs. So I know liquid springs are a huge, huge difference. And <clears throat> for the money, I mean, it's like ten, twelve thousand dollars. Um, it's probably worth it if you're driving a lot, especially if you're trying to put a lot of miles in in one day. That's not us anymore, thankfully. We are more in short travels as we work our way around the country. For now, we're going to hold off on liquid springs. So that's going to save us $10,000, $12,000 for now. The $860 or so dollars we spent on, um, the Coney, on the Coney Shocks, well worth it. Uh, it's a huge difference already. I was, I was actually shocked by how noticeable the difference was. Now, we had the stock shocks on this, obviously, before then. The coach was almost was barely over a year old. We bought this on July 16th of last year. We had Coney shocks installed at the very end of July 2020. So, you know, a year and a couple of weeks old. And 17,000 miles on the coach. Huge difference. Highly recommend getting the Coney shocks. And don't do like we did. Just do it all in one trip. Get the Safety Plus steering stabilizer and get the Coney shocks installed. One trip, get it done. The people there are awesome. They they love the veteran community. Uh, both times we've been there, they've given me a camouflage hat, which they only give to veterans. So that's kind of cool. So we definitely love Safety Plus. They've saved our life. You know what? We're going to end this video. I'm going to show you, because it's only a few seconds long, I'm going to show you the dash cam footage from last January where we almost kind of bit it. But thanks Safety Plus, no accident, no damage. So we're going to go out on that. Roll that near accident footage. Thanks for watching. Bye.